Hello viewers, I am Siddharth and welcome to my channel. So today I have found a mystery box. Let's see what is inside. So this is the box, as you can see. Professional instruments, a branding is made on the box. So let's find out what is inside. So this is some kind of instrument. Now what kind of instrument is this? Oh, that's a digital anemometer. Let's keep the manual side and see the instrument. So this is the monitor as you can see. Power, unit, pole, centigrade and Fahrenheit. Maximum, minimum and average buttons are provided. This is the anemometer. The fan-like structure will measure the wind velocity. These directional markings are also provided here. Along with this arrangement for quarter inch thread is provided. One USB cable is provided to connect it to the monitor. Let's connect it here and switch it on. Oh, it's working. So the functions are given in the manual. Air velocity and temperature measurement. Then maximum minimum average current reading is there. Degree centigrade and Fahrenheit temperature reading or selection is there. 5 units for air velocity, meter per second, knots, feet per minute, then kilometer per hour, miles per hour. Data hole facility is there. Data hole facility then. Beaufort scale and wind chill factor is provided here. So this is the diagram of the display panel of the monitor. As you can see, data hole facility is there, air velocity. Then wind chill factor, Beaufort scale, then air velocity unit, then temperature. We can change that unit of the temperature according to our needs. That's all here. So as you can see, I'm inside the room, so there is no wind here. So the wind velocity here is zero zero. As you can see, it is zero. Below that, this is the room temperature, 26.9 degrees centigrade. These are the buttons provided in the monitor to change the units of temperature and the wind speed so I will have to press the unit button one for one time and then press the arrow button to change the units of the wind speed now it is at feet per minute then knots then miles per hour in meter per second kilometers per hour feet per minute again knots miles per hour Again, again back to meter per second so let's test it I will have to blow some air to the anemometer and see whether it works or not whether it gives the reading required readings or not so let's blow some air to it okay okay I think I have reached my level I've reached about 5 meters per second by blowing. I can that much of power I can generate by my lungs. So I think we should test it one more time and record the highest speed. So and I have hold it at the maximum wind speed. This is 6.4 meters per second. By pressing the hold button I can lock it at that speed then again by pressing this degree centigrade and degree Fahrenheit I can change the units of the temperature also so now you have seen how uh, anemometer works I've shown you the how anemometer works so if you guys like the video please give a thumbs up to it and if you also like my videos please do like share and subscribe my channel so thank you. Bye-bye.